Hello, hello. I'm going to do a quick screen share, um, a short video showing how to book a cruise using our IntelliTravel back office. And I'll go step by step so that you can follow along and do it on your own whenever you like. Don't mind the background. It is summertime and I live with a lot of children. Okay. So I'm going to get out of here and start from the beginning. You go to IntelliTravel, you log in, you do what you gotta do. <laughs> okay, here we are. This is what your back office should look like. See your dashboard, book travel. It's already, our search engine is already here. <laughs> so we're gonna go here to the top. <laughs> Excuse me, click cruise. So here, launch cruise engine. All right, here we are. So this is destination, this is departure port, cruise line, ship, sailing dates, and length of your cruise. I am going to do a quick Caribbean. Let's do a Caribbean. Everyone loves the Caribbean. So I'm going to click Caribbean. I'm going to pick Miami because I love sailing out of Miami so that I can enjoy the city before and after my cruise. But you click whichever one you like. I do not click the specific cruise line unless a client asks me Two. So if they say, look, I want to take a carnival cruise, then you you click on carnival cruise. If they leave it options open or if it's for you and you're just looking for the best deals, um, just leave it open. They're just going to give you a list of everything available based on your criteria and for ships as well. Unless um, someone asks for a specific ship, leave it open. I am going to click uh, November. You can click on any date that you like far into next year. Um, I will do a four to six night and then click search. And see, it is giving me a list based on my options. It says it's 53 itineraries that was found, 66 sailings found. So now I can just kind of search through and see what's best for me. Like, oh my goodness, a four night for $192. That is amazing. That is going to the Bahamas from Miami, Princess Keys, the Bahamas, Nassau, the Bahamas, and back to Miami for $200 per person. That is based on double occupancy. And so the cabins are made to fit two people but they can fit up to four they do not tell you that on here so um it does get cheaper for your third and fourth person that is staying in the cabin and if they're children under a certain age they pretty much only pay taxes and fees they do not have to pay the total price so that's always a great um option if you have children coming um so let's go ahead and pick this one this is, I mean, the best deal that we can see here. So we're just, I want to show you something here. Here, you can click this to have it saved down here at the bottom for you. So you can continue searching because hmm, maybe I'll find one for 99. You know, you never know. So right now I'm just looking over here in the corner for the prices. 
So, so far, the 192 is the cheapest and it does include fees and taxes. <clears throat> and you see um, Norwegian is expensive, way more expensive than Carnival. It's uh, you're gonna learn about the different lines as well. Norwegian is more of a older crowd, more luxurious um, European cruise line. Carnival is more like a party, 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 young adults, you know. Um, so it really depends on what you're going for. You're going for like to party all night, all day. Carnival is for you. Royal Caribbean is. Similar to Carnival, just like a bit more upscale. Virgin Voyages, if we see any Virgin Voyages, that is all adult, 18 and up. So you can do your research or your training courses on all the different types of cruises and cruise lines to see what they all offer. Right now, I am taking the Virgin Voyages um, training and I am loving what I see. I recently took my family on an MSC cruise to the Bahamas for spring break. And we love that. If you are traveling with family, little ones, I strongly should suggest MSC. It was super cool. Okay, I'm not seeing anything cheaper than this Carnival Cruise one right here. So I'm just going to go back up to that one. And we can dig in. Oh, well, let me do that. So let's just click on anything else so that I can compare. Okay, see, I got two down here. Let's compare them, see what they got. It gives you a side-by-side, -side telling you the times, the destinations, the different ships, and of course, the cruise line. It tells you the prices, <clears throat> the prices for the different types of um, cabin, whether it's a suite, the suites are big. I believe the suites can fit up to five people on Carnival, if I'm not mistaken. But I know for sure four. Um, so that is totally a preference of the person who was taking the trip and then of course it shows the locations it's pretty much going to the same place as it looks like princess keys and nassau yep same exact locations but this one definitely has a better price and that's carnival conquest and after i get this information what I do then, I do not book under the search engine. I take down the information, the dates, the carnival, the ship name, the destination, the length, the port, and the price. And then I call Carnival. Hey, I'm a travel agent. Would you like to have my IATA or CLIA number before we get started? They're going to say yes. Make sure you have those numbers available so that you can give it to them. And they may actually also ask for the phone number to uh, IntelliTravel. So if you go back into your welcome letter, I would print that information out because it has the address, the phone number, and everything that these suppliers may ask for. And you wanna have them on hand right in front of you when you are booking. And so <clears throat> after that, um, also, you have to have the information for everybody who is taking that cruise. That is age, genders, birthdays, um, whether they have a birth certificate, if they don't have their passports. Sorry about that. If they don't have their passports and a state ID or state driver's license, they have to have a birth certificate and an ID or a passport card. So you have to have two forms of ID. If you do not have a passport, you can have a passport card as well as a birth certificate and state ID, okay? So um, that's always good because everybody does not have their passports. Um, some passports are taking forever to arrive. 
So yes, you can cruise with your birth certificate and your state ID or driver's license. As long as you have those, that's perfectly fine. But they will ask for the, the, um, the driver's license number or the ID number or the birth certificate, the number on your birth certificate. So make sure you have those. And when the person or you are traveling, make sure you take those documents that you put in to the system, have them with you um, while traveling because they will check those. But other than that, that is how we do it. It's super easy and um, Anyone can do it. If you have any questions or comments, if you want to do a walkthrough together, that is perfectly fine with me. Um, let's schedule a time and we can get it done. Thanks.